Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe early attempts to arrange the elements into a periodic table. You should then be able to explain why Dmitri Mendeleev's periodic table successfully predicted the properties of elements. And finally, you should be able to describe how the elements are arranged in the modern periodic table. Here is the modern periodic table, and you are given a copy of this in your exam. The periodic table is arranged into columns, which we call groups. So we have group 1 and group 2. We then have this big block, which we call the transition elements. And then we have groups 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and finally group 0. So why is it called the periodic table? Well, the word periodic means occurring at regular intervals. And in the periodic table, we can see that elements with similar properties occur at regular intervals. So for example, we can see that group 1 consists of highly reactive metals, such as lithium, sodium, and potassium. On the other side of the table, group 7 consists of highly reactive non-metals, such as fluorine, chlorine, and bromine. All the elements in a group have similar chemical properties. In other words, they react in a similar way. And that's because all the elements in a group have the same number of electrons in their outer energy level. Now, a long time ago, scientists began to see if they could put the elements into some sort of order. The scientist Johann Doberiner noticed that elements with similar chemical properties often occurred in threes, and he called these triads. A good example is lithium, sodium, and potassium, which are three metals that all react rapidly with water. Another example is chlorine, bromine, and iodine, which are all reactive nonmetals. So, from this, Scientists began to wonder whether the elements could be arranged into some sort of logical order. Around 40 years later, the scientist John Newlands noticed something interesting. He arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic weight, and he saw that every eighth element reacts in a similar way. If we count lithium as element 1, then element 8 is sodium. If we now count sodium as element 1, then element 8 is potassium. We can do the same with beryllium, magnesium, and calcium. And again, these three elements also react in a similar way to each other. Newlands called this his law of octaves. Now, Newlands' system did have problems. By always sticking to the exact order of atomic weight, sometimes elements were grouped together when they had totally different properties. So that meant that Newlands' law of octaves was not really taken seriously by other scientists. OK, I'm showing you here the scientist Dmitry Mendeleev. Mendeleev developed the first modern periodic table, and you've got to be able to explain how he did this. Mendeleev started by arranging all the elements in order of increasing atomic weight. However, he then did two things that no one had done before. Firstly, if he needed to, Mendeleev would switch the order of specific elements, so they fitted the patterns of other elements in the same group. Secondly, Mendeleev realised that some elements had not been discovered, so he simply left gaps in his periodic table where he thought an element was missing. Mendeleev was so confident that his table was correct that he predicted the properties of the undiscovered elements, based on other elements in the same groups. Several years later, the missing elements were discovered, their properties matched Mendeleev's predictions. And because of that, other scientists now accepted that Mendeleev's table was correct. Now, the modern periodic table is almost exactly the same as Mendeleev's, apart from a couple of important differences. Firstly, in the modern periodic table, the elements are arranged in order of atomic number, in other words, the number of protons. When we order by atomic number, every element is in the correct group. When Mendeleev developed his table, Protons had not been discovered, so he ordered the elements by atomic weight. The problem with ordering by atomic weight is that elements can appear in the wrong order, due to the presence of isotopes. A good example are tellurium and iodine, which we can see here. Ordering by atomic weight puts these elements in the wrong groups, but ordering by atomic number puts them in the correct groups. And remember that Mendeleev addressed this problem by switching the order of elements when he needed to. Secondly, the modern periodic table has group zero, the noble gases. 
These elements had not been fully discovered when Mendeleev published his table. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my Vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above.